So to summarize, we've seen three basic molecular shapes, linear, trigonal planar, and tetrahedral. And it's the number of bonds that there are to arrange around the central atom that determines which one occurs. In addition, each shape has a characteristic bond angle which directly depends on the geometry. You can see the pictures of the balloons here represent the electron clouds that are the bonds, and it's showing how they can arrange themselves to minimize that repulsion. I should say that this doesn't represent all pos possible molecular shapes. Obviously, there are many more complex ones, but this is sufficient for this course. However, if you'd like to explore the zoo more thoroughly, try to predict the shapes that would be adopted by molecules which have five bonds or six bonds around the central atom. In each case, draw the Lewis structure first, and then think about how you can geometrically arrange those bonds to get the largest angle between them. You can check your prediction by searching for VSEPR shapes on the internet. Okay, 